Hello. Welcome to The Fulani Show. I'm Dr. Lenora Fulani. Joining me is my co-host, Dr. Fred Newman. Our guest today is Marion Rich. Marion is an actor, a founding member of the Castillo Theater Company, and a longtime theatrical collaborator of Dr. Fred Newman's. Last August, Marion performed a monologue at the annual meeting of the American Psychological Association. The monologue, entitled The Diary of a Mad Therapist, was written by Fred Newman for a special performance symposium. Let's watch. I remember the week I decided to become a therapist. I was well into my 40s, twice married, twice divorced. I'd been in therapy as a patient for 20 years. My mother made fun of me for being in therapy for so long. How bad a job could I have done, she was fond of asking. I'd feel guilty and try to reassure her, which made me crazy, hence more therapy. Anyway, one day in the spring of 1985, I said, Mom, I'm becoming a therapist. She looked at me in that startled way that only a Jewish mother can and said, <laughs> What's that? A new disease? You mean you're becoming a therapist like uh, Lon Chaney or Jack Nicholson became a werewolf? No, Mom. I'm going back to school to Hunter College of Social Work to get a master's degree so I can practice therapy. You know, make a living. That Friday night at dinner, she announced to the whole family, Marion's becoming a therapist. My mother's brother, Uncle Morris, said, you're becoming a therapist like Jack Nicholson or Lon Chaney became a werewolf? I dropped the matzo ball back in my soup, stood up and yelled, who raised you to, Henny Youngman? No, I'm going back to school to get a master's in social work so I can practice therapy. Uncle Morris started nodding his head, making a uniquely Jewish funny face. You're going to be a therapist, he said. He dipped a piece of gefilte fish in the horseradish. That's crazy! My father, sitting at the head of the table, was reassuring. Who did he reassure? Uncle Morris, of course. Maybe it's a good idea, Morris. At least you learn to diagnose. I mean, anyone who can come to my daughter for help must be crazy. <laughs> Uncle Morris and my father laughed till they burped in unison. Armed with such loving support that fall, I returned to graduate school, Hunter College of the City University of New York. Mm -hmm. I was 20 to 25 years older than everyone in my class. They had come to social work school as a result of uh, guidance and counseling for their vocational efforts. They weren't veterans of emotional warfare. These kids actually seemed mentally healthy. When we started to talk about anxiety and depression and guilt in class, it was clear they had no first-hand experience with these feelings. They were like 22-year-old doctors studying hardening of the arteries. It wasn't surprising that they started to relate to me as if I were a founding member of the Mental Patients Liberation Front. In one early cafeteria conversation, uh, a wholesome young man from Schenectady said to me, you were crazy before I was born. I stroked his all but unshaven face and said, you don't know my Uncle Morris. I was crazy before I was born. <laughs> Three years later, I had an MSW, a CSW, a shared office of my own on the Upper West Side, and my first patient. Who else? That kid from Schenectady. Three years of living in New York had made him crazy, and he had a peculiar obsession. He desperately wanted to be my first patient. No, it wasn't sexual. From the vantage point of Schenectady, I was sturm and drang incarnate. Now, after decades of having my madness related to by Uncle Morris and the others as the ravings of a three-year-old Jewish-American princess, I liked being related to and respected as a guru of madness. Perry, yeah, that was Schenectady's name. Perry would say to me, Marion, what's depression really like? You know, real depression. You know, your depression. What's it like? <laughs> Perry, I would say, giving him my most professional look, which wasn't yet very pro professional, 
Perry, what's the matter with your depression? Isn't it a good enough depression? Oh, Marion, he would say, it's a goyish depression. It's not real like yours. You see, in New York City at least, therapy is, amongst other things, how goyim think they can learn the secrets of Judaism without converting. <laughs> Three months of intensive therapeutic work Three sessions a week, I finally realized that Perry suffered from not having an Uncle Morris. So I start telling him Uncle Morris stories. Mm -hmm. You know, how Uncle Morris laughed at me when I fell down. How Uncle Morris barked at me when I was afraid of the neighbor's dog. How Uncle Morris sang Yiddish songs out loud on the Fordham Road bus, and so on. One day, Uncle Morris takes me out to lunch for my 49th birthday at a fashionable East Side joint. And who shows up? Perry, of course. Totally unexpected. All right, I introduce him to, to Morris. He stands next to the table and looks down at my 75-year-old bearded uncle and says, this is Uncle Morris? I never saw Perry again. I'm certain he was cured. Uncle Morris is long dead. But he's curing people left and right, sure. Oh, now don't get the wrong idea. I can tell. One of you are looking at me suspiciously. Yes, I believe in genes. And nowadays, I know, genes cause everything. My mother, now in her 80s, always says to me, you're a college girl. How many genes can there be? And I tell her, Mom, they're very little. So there, you see, I'm quite scientific. I believe in genes, but my patients aren't suffering from genes. Their lives are so miserable, they'd have to have a special gene not to be crazy. I am forever in awe of the variety of awful lives that seemingly normal people can be living. And sometimes I am made joyously happy by my patients' dreadful lives. <laughs> <laughs> it makes me feel so lucky with my own. Actually, five years into my practice, I stopped my own therapy for a year, maybe. <laughs> anyway, sometimes I find myself imitating the unhappiest aspects of all of my clients' lives. Like, yeah. I can't resist. I can't stand the idea that there's an emotional pain that I haven't tried.